What's up everybody, this is Daxon, we are Family Farm. So I haven't made an update video for a while and it is an absolute mess in here um, from all the different things I'm doing. I don't ever like doing all the, finishing all one thing at once. But anyway, a few things. Um, I started building this frame up here for the drop door. There's not even really gonna be a door, I'm gonna, um, cut a piece of drywall that'll just kind of set in there. I got about an inch overhang, you know, for the boards being a little bit smaller than the actual hole that was cut out there. That'll hardly never be used and I'll paint those boards to match <coughs> the ceiling when we get there. Um, but that's what that is. Almost got that done. Been messing a lot with the wiring, you know, trying to get everything how I want. And basically I come down to, I'm gonna have a few of my outlets, like my miter saw, mini split, you know, air compressor, etc. You know, my, I might have all those on their own breaker, own wire, you know, just one outlet per breaker for those. Um, and then other than that, <clears throat> I'm splitting my walls north, east, south, and west, and then I'm splitting them into two. For example, this wall right here, the very first run from the breaker box is um, south, and it'll be east so far as the wall. And this would be southwest, so on and so forth. And then, um, oh goodness, I'm drawing a blank. It's too late in the day. <laughs> um, this would be, you know, the southwest or west south, I guess. I don't know how to label it to where those two aren't confused. But anyway, all broken up. So there'd be, and I'll probably put that whole wall on one, the whole east side. But anyway, I just did. My first light in here from start to finish and this thing is putting out a lot of light and I'm gonna have four of these in here So I don't think I'm gonna have any kind of light problem um, What I'm using them probably seeing them advertised on TV. We have them in our uh, Car garage up there on our house is two It's it screws in like a normal light bulb and then the little bendy deals and there's three really bright LEDs I have loved the ones for about a year so far in our garage. They are amazing I know some of them are like $50, $60 or more and up. Um, these are, I can't remember, almost 30 for a two pack on Amazon, so they're quite a bit cheaper. Don't know how long they'll last, but anyway, nice, bright, white light to be able to, I mean, I can see all the way on the floor perfectly. We have nine foot ceilings in here. Uh, I did start putting in a little bit of insulation, um, but with a 21 month old son, I haven't really been able to do that because he wanted to, you know mess with it and get into it and every time you know every time i started so uh still got a little bit to go back through and fix and everything but and then i just wired my first switch ever for something that has a true meaning and a real building i guess you know i've done really small things like outside and stuff but did my switch from the box light power over and got first light and all four of them will run together but that's what the shop looks like now. Of course, have the electric garage door opener. Um, I don't have that plug-in wired yet. There's two little windows. I'm gonna have my a closet back there in the corner, so to speak, for uh, my laser engravers with a vent fan. Um, you know, the smoke will stay in that room and the vent fan would suck it out. And that way that doesn't interfere with the rest of my workspace. But really messy. I'll try to make more update videos as we get there. If you haven't already seen my first one from the concrete floor, to um, getting the building actually up in the outside. I guess you'd call it the shell dome. Make sure to check that out. But I'm done for now. I'll upload this video and hopefully you like it. See you later. Bye-bye.